part of the champion life is that it is a life of abundance and freedom and victory where we are winning in every single area. And so with abundance, we have the mindset that, listen, there is no limit that what we can do, that all things truly are possible. Alrighty, everybody. Well, welcome back to another episode of the Champion Life Podcast. I'm Kurt Tucker. I'm excited about this episode for one reason is because if you are somebody who wants to earn more income so that you can have more freedom in your life, and I remember that feeling many years ago, then you definitely want to lock in on this particular episode because we're going to talk about three ways that you can double your income, and also have more freedom. What do I mean by have more freedom? See, many times when we think about doubling our income, making more money, you know, it's always then goes along with the work that has to go in, right? And don't get me wrong, nothing is going to get accomplished without work, right? In scripture, it says faith without works is dead. But I do believe that there is some ways that we can work smarter, not harder, that we can begin to learn how to work on our business versus in our business, that we can begin to start learning how to delegate and build systems and processes that allow us to be able to not only earn more income, but be able to have more freedom. So welcome back to another episode. Our last episode, we talked a lot about wealth. I had my good friend Matt Warren on with me and man, did he absolutely bring it. And if you haven't listened to that episode, I want to encourage you after this episode to go back and listen to that episode because Matt dropped some huge nuggets on how to take your life and your wealth to the next level. And so today, what I want to talk about is how can you increase more money? How can you make more money so that you put yourself in a position to do things like start your own family bank, like Matt talked about with the infinite banking concept and, and all those different things. And so today, I want to give you really three ways practical ways things that some things you may already be doing but maybe you're not doing them to the to the next level that would allow you to ultimately double your income right and so the first thing that i want to talk about today that i believe is so important for you to be able to double your income is to either a have a goal of starting some type of a business for those of you guys, you know, who know me, I am an entrepreneur. That, that That is who I am at heart. Like, I just get so excited about looking at a venture, looking at an opportunity and saying, okay, how can we, you know, maximize this? How can we grow this? I remember somebody speaking this over me years ago where, where they said, Kurt, you know, you just have a gift at being able to look at something and have a vision of how to grow it. And, and that's a kingdom mindset, isn't it? You know, scarcity mindset says there's not enough. A kingdom mindset says there is more than enough, that we are not living in scarcity. You know, part of the champion life is that it is a life of abundance and freedom and victory where we are winning in every single area. And so with abundance, we have the mindset that, listen, there is no limit that what we can do, that all things truly are possible, whether that's an income level that you want to grow to, that's a fitness level that you want to have, that's a certain you know level of intimacy in your marriage, it doesn't matter. So we're going to live with abundance here. And so one of the things I want to really encourage you to do is to either A, you know, if you're already in business and you already have a business, that's awesome. Now it begins to create a new vision for what that business might look like. Because before you're going to be able to double your income, you're going to have to be able to get a bigger vision, right? Like we're talking about doubling here. All right. That means if if your business is producing ten thousand dollars a month in revenue to go to 20, that's doubling. Right. Or maybe you're at 50 and you want to go to 100 or you're at five hundred thousand, you know, of a year of revenue and you want to go to a, a million or maybe you're at a million a month and you want to go to two million a month. Like no matter what, there's got to be a new vision because with a new vision is going to require different sets of things that you're going to have to do on a daily basis to to get there, right? 
So anyhow, the first thing I will encourage you to do, put yourself in a position to make more money. Now, there's a couple of different things that we could talk here. I remember a season of my life where I wanted to earn more income and we were pretty much tapped out at what we were doing. So I needed to look outside of that particular business and I found a business in the network marketing world. That allowed me to create some duplication to use my skills in nutrition, to use my skills in sales, to use my skills in leadership to begin to start building a team that allowed us to create a business that you know was very scalable that was across the whole country and begin to start generating some you know some some residual income if you will from the team that we had built right then as we decided you know to go into more franchising and purchase a franchise and get into the fitness business and I'll share a little bit more about that story here in a little bit that allowed us to increase our revenue increase our income again and so no matter where you're at, I want to encourage you to either A, get a new vision for the business that you have right now so that you can, you know, double your income or B, if you don't have a business right now, begin to start thinking about what is a business, what is a product, what is a service that you could provide to the marketplace to add value for people's lives. A great business does one thing, friends, it solves problems. And the greater the problem that you solve, okay, the higher the value, the amount of that somebody will pay for it, right? Let's just look at, you know, a, a McDonald's for a second. It's an incredible business, but the people that are working there at McDonald's don't make an incredible wage. Why? Because it's not a massive problem that people are solving. But if you look at a brain surgeon, why do they get paid so much money? It's because they are solving a big problem. They, they are keeping somebody alive. They are giving somebody, you know, uh, an incredible value of, of life, right? You know, or you look at it in the consulting world in business, right? You know, when somebody can provide a solution for somebody that can help them make millions of dollars, of course, they're going to be very, very, very valuable. And so therefore, somebody's willing to pay more than maybe the local dry cleaner, right? So you want to begin to start thinking about what kind of business could I start? What kind of skills do I have? You know, what kind of value could I provide to the marketplace? Problems could I solve that I could begin to start charging for those, right? You know, that's how when Rachel and I uh, started Faith Driven Fitness, you know, years ago, back in 2009, that was where we saw our passion. We wanted to get out of working kind of the nine to five job. And we wanted to begin to start working for ourselves and begin to start creating, you know, freedom over our schedule, freedom over the things that we wanted to do. And so we, we saw, man, we love to work out. We're working out all the time. People are already asking us questions all the time, right? We really enjoy this. We find ourselves, you know, enjoying being at the gym. And so, you know, this just made sense for us to begin to start going into personal training, right? And, and that began, you know, that, you know, as I look at, at my business life, you know, personal training went into owning a training business, went into owning a, you know, a, uh, or doing very well in the, you know, the network marketing space with a nutrition company that led into purchasing franchises, right? Another gym that led into, you know, what we do working with gyms all across the country, you know, now. And, and so a lot of times you just got to get started, you know, one of the things that I have failed in, right, and I like to say failure is just feedback, right? Like as long as you don't let it define you, as long as you don't let it keep you uh, where you're at, it, it doesn't beat you down, but you decide to take anything. Uh, I, I was talking with a friend yesterday and uh, he said, yeah, man, that was just a $10,000 lesson because we were talking about an investment that we made and he made and it didn't work out. And he goes, yep, that was just a $10,000 lesson. He wasn't sitting there stewing on it. He didn't let him or keep him from continuing to move forward on, on the vision and the mission and the goals that he set for himself. But he said it was just a lesson. It was a $10,000 lesson. And so anyhow, when you do have failure, what's going to happen is you're going to get feedback. All right. And you're going to learn, hey, let's not do that again. So 
when you look at some type of a business, you know, or even if you maybe you're you're not in a business, right? You know, like I know that a lot of my audience is entrepreneurs, and that is what I love to coach and and work with and so forth and so on. But maybe you're just in a job right now, now but you're like, hey, I really do want to just stay in corporate America. Well, then you know, look at how can you provide more value to the business that you work for, right? And by providing more value to that company, helping them earn more, that's going to put you in a position where you then can earn more. You can go and ask for a significant increase in pay, not just, you know, making, you know, an extra couple dollars an hour, you know, raise or whatever, but you can significantly, that's the reason why I believe that if you're, you know, for me, uh, if I'm working in that type of an environment, I want to get into some type of sales, right? Because now I have the ability to take my skill set and to add massive value and get compensated for it. So if you're not in a position to start a business, look to get into a position of sales or to add value to a company so that you can increase your income and you can do it rather quickly, okay? The second thing that I want to talk about on how to double your income is to get laser focused. Here's the reality is when I learned how to implement a 90 day plan, when I learned and read the book, the 12 week year, which is an incredible book. If you can see me on the YouTube version here, I'm holding the book up. I have read and reread this book over the last six or seven years, probably 20 times. When we leave and we go on vacations, and at the time of this podcast being uh, released, uh, I'm going to be on a cruise with my wife for six or seven days. It's one of the fun things that we love to do. This will be our 13th or 14th cruise. And every time we go on a vacation, I reread through this book. I look at the highlighted sections. I realign my mindset on the next set of goals that I have for the next 90 days, for the next 12 week year, right? And so I want to encourage you to get laser focused because most of the time when we say we want to earn more income, we want to create more freedom in our life, there's going to have to be an exchange, right? There's going to have to be a, a compromise. There's going to have to be something that we're going to have to be willing to say no to so that we can say yes to some other things. All right. And so you may have to say, you know, no to scrolling on Facebook or Instagram or watching your favorite Netflix series or playing in that softball league, you know, that you're that you're playing in or or whatever it is so that you can get laser focused on your business or starting this business or increasing your sales or whatever so that you can generate more revenue so that you can increase your earnings. All right. And so, you know, that would be what I would call a sacrifice. But my mentor, Jay Meyer, said this to me one time. He said, Kurt, what some people view as sacrifices, I look at it as a blessing generator. You know, when you're willing to get up at 5 a.m. so that you can spend time with the Lord in the morning and you can get your mindset right, you can meditate, visualize, get grateful, prayer, devotion, look at your goals. That's not a sacrifice. That's a blessing generator because that's going to provide fruit. That's going to create, you know, success. If you're willing to get up early and you're willing to work out so that you take care of your body and you increase your energy so that you can be more productive throughout the day, you know, why most people are sleeping in every single day. That's not a sacrifice. That's a blessing generator. So I want you to remind yourself as you go into this next season of life, that as you're setting this new goal to double your income, you know, that, hey, listen, you know, this is going to require me to get laser focused. But if I'm willing to get laser focused, new things are going to happen. You know, you're, you're going to be so surprised at like what happens in your life. And, and, and this could be about doubling income, but this could also be just taking your marriage to the next level, taking your fitness to the next level, you know, anything when you're able to get Focused. And so the 12 week year, what that taught me was to get laser focused and make every day count. See, so many times we can go a week, you know, even a month, even sometimes years, and, and we didn't accomplish anything. And we're like, what happened? I remember when I was writing my book, I, I said to myself, Kurt, 
We've got to get laser focused for a season so that we will have a resource that will live on beyond you, that will be able to go out there and impact and inspire people to live their champion life. But you're going to have to give up some things. You're going to have to be willing to get up early and right before your day gets started, right? You're going to have to be willing to get up on Saturday and instead of going and, and maybe playing golf, which as you guys know who follow me, I love to do, you know, and take two or three hours to write instead and only if you write then you can go play golf sometimes you have to play games with yourself right where hey i will only do this after i do this and you begin to start prioritizing the things that are most important to reach the goal that you want to accomplish okay but when you get laser focused, when you set that new goal, when you begin to put together your plan, and then you begin to start acting with accountability, I will say, okay, that is one of the things is that I believe that accountability is the greatest thing. Some people demonize it. Some people say, you know, no, you, sh you know, they, they make it like it's an evil word versus no, you know, when you have the ability to say, I'm going to do something and you keep that word to yourself, you keep that promise to yourself, we begin to start building self-confidence. But sometimes we need somebody else to be able to help us, okay? That would be the, the third reason why, you know, or the third reason that I would say would be most helpful in doubling your income and creating more freedom is to resource up. You know, the reality is, is when I look back over our journey of being able to, you know, be at a certain income and then grow that income to make more money, to have more freedoms. You know, every time that I've been able to do that in my life, it has always came when I resourced up, meaning when I, I got a coach, I got a mentor, I invested in a business program. I, 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 I learned a new skill. Right. And, and one of the things I can remember um, years ago was when we owned one of our gyms and we wanted to go next level in our training business. And there was a program that was $16,000 to purchase to learn how to, you know, grow and scale our, our business, our training business, our gym business. And I remember my brother and I, TJ, talking about and saying, man, like, dude, we really want to do this, but there was some fear. Like there was some worry. There was some, can we really do this? Can we really afford this? And you know what? We were asking the wrong questions. What we should have been asking ourselves was, listen, you know, or what we should have been saying to ourselves is we can't afford not to do this. Like, I don't want to live another three months, six months, a year, five years where we're at. I want to go next level. And so that's the decision that we made was we made that $16,000 investment and literally within two months, we had quadrupled what we were earning on a monthly basis in that particular business uh, in the segment of training. OK, and what happened was actually because we were willing to make that investment through the pandemic, it actually allowed us to start a new business that now that business that we started today is Gym Growth Experts. And now over the last three, four years or whatever, you know, however long we've been doing, we've now worked with over three, 350 gyms across the country, helping them grow and scale their training businesses, you know, creating more income for their families, helping and serving more people in their fitness and so forth and so on. But that would have never happened if we wouldn't have taken that one step, okay, of being bold and saying, listen, we don't know what to do. Okay. So instead of staying put, we made an investment that allowed us to go next level and allowed us to grow and scale that particular business to earn more income. And so I want to encourage you to understand that, you know, every single time that you want to go next level, it's going to require some sacrifice or aka blessing generators it's going to require that you get a new vision it's going to require that you begin to start figuring out what skills you need to develop what habits you need to create what uh, things you need to begin to start doing and not doing so that you can begin to get the results that you want to create the life that you desire and 
I know exactly what that feels like because I've been there time and time again in my life. But I want to encourage you today, because this is going to be a short episode, is that it's possible. See, that's one of my favorite verses in all of scripture, Mark 9, 23, all things are possible to those who believe. See, you have a champion life that is waiting for you. You have a marriage that's filled with intimacy and passion. You have a body that's waiting for you that is strong, that is fit, that is full of energy. You have a business that is blessed, that's serving, you know, in the kingdom that have, that's having an incredible impact. And the only thing that needs to change is you. That's it. Because in any business, especially, you know, if you are the CEO, if you are, you know, the leader, the, the owner, whatever, is everything rises and falls on leadership, right? You know, and at the end of the day, we are the bottleneck, you know, so what we have to learn how to do is to figure out, you know, what we must do to take this thing to the next level. And I believe that if you're willing to implement some of the things that I've talked about today, this is how you will not only double your income, but you will have more freedom. You'll have more freedom in your mindset. You'll have more freedom in your, your thoughts and your emotions. You'll have more freedom in your business because you will be so laser focused. You will begin to start doing some of the other things that we need to do in a business like automating, like delegating, like eliminating, like setting up those systems and processes and all those different you know things. But you may need to resource up. That's what we do at Champion Builders. We are a network you know, of people who want to go next level as husbands, as fathers, as entrepreneurs. And sometimes we just need a community of people to be around so that we have the ability to grow, to become more, to produce more in our life. So I want to encourage you today, friend, don't just jump off this episode and go back to life, right? Go back to, to work or to your, you know, to your business or to keep kids or, you know, to the next task that you have today. But take a second and really think about where you are and where you want to go. What would it look like if you doubled your income right now? What kind of freedoms would that create in your life? What would that allow you to do? Maybe it's take your family on an incredible vacation. It's buy your wife an incredible something. It's you're able to just do something that you never thought was possible, but now because you doubled your income, it is more than possible. And begin to start thinking about what your life would look like on a daily basis. Maybe just close your eyes for a second. One of the things that I love to do is meditate and visualize and picture myself. I remember years ago when I wanted to earn a trip to, to Rome, you know, and I always wanted to take my wife to Paris. And I just didn't think it was possible for three or four months every day for at least five minutes. I would picture what it was going to look like, you know, on the flight over the, the big pond. Right. And seeing on the screen what that looked like, touching down in Rome, getting off the airplane, walking into the Vatican, walking into the Colosseum, standing by the Eiffel Tower in Paris when we went to Paris. And I just pictured that in my mind daily because I knew that it was going to happen. All right. See, there's a verse that I love, Mark 11, 24. And basically what Jesus says is that we got to ask, we got to believe, and we got to receive. Go read the verse for yourself. So I believe that the first thing we got to start asking ourselves is what do we want? And then after we begin to start asking ourselves, what do we want? We got to begin to start believing that it is possible, okay? And he says to receive, like, meaning it's already ours. So this doubling of your income that you want to do, this taking your business to the next level or starting a new business, begin to start picturing it as if it is already happening. Give thanks for it. Ask yourself, who would you have to become, okay, to have that thing that you want? And then what happens is, as you begin to start getting laser focused, as you begin to start setting these new habits, these new rituals, these new blessing generators 
in place, like rising early before at five or 6 a.m. while everybody else sleeps in, you know, like making that one extra call in your business, you know, spending that extra time at the gym, doing those things that make you better, you will begin to start to see your life go next level. And friend, I want to encourage you this one last thing is if you're willing to commit to this, okay, for 90 days, for a 12 week year, I can promise you that your life will go next level. I just know it will because I've seen so many people do it and I've seen it happen for my life as well. And it only happens that when we put the, the, the hand to the plow, as my friend Matt Warren said last week, like when we're willing to put in the work, okay, that's when things will begin to happen. So we can't just sit here and dream up a great vision and think about things. We got to be willing to put in the work. We've got to be willing to have faith. We've got to be willing to maybe resource up if you need help, okay? And then all of a sudden, as the results begin to start happening and taking shape in your life because of the effort and the work that you're putting in, now here's what's going to happen, friend, is you're going to begin to start dreaming even bigger. You're going to begin to start thinking about other possibilities because of the result that you're getting and things absolutely will go next level. So, hey, I want to encourage you. If you've heard something today, comment, you know, send me a DM. I would love to help any way I can in your business endeavor, in your marriage, everything. Because I know this, friends, that when you become the champion that God created you to be, when you begin to start earning more income so that you can give more to your church, you can give more to your family, you know, you can do the things that you want to do and have the lifestyle. I know that you are going to be super blessed. I know that you are going to love the life that you're living, that you're going to have more passion, more purpose to go out there and be a difference maker and to be the champion that you were created to be. And then most importantly is to go champion someone else. But it all starts with you, friend. You know, all leadership begins with self-leadership. So when you set this new goal, when you begin to focus on doubling your income, creating more family and going next level in your life, not only are you going to want to continue to do that month after month, year after year, but you're going to want to pay it forward and help other people. And that's what life is all about. So, hey, thanks for tuning in on this episode. We'll see you on the next one. And God bless. Thank you.